In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a GIF in Photoshop. First, you need to open Photoshop and add the images you want to animate in separate layers. As you can see, I have added a cat that is running in each layer. We have six separate layers that we are going to animate. Each layer contains a cat in a running position. To make the animated GIF in Photoshop, first, go to Window Menu and then choose Timeline. You will see that at the bottom of the screen, an area appears where you can find a button that says Create Frame Animation. Click on Create Frame Animation, and you will see that this area is transformed into a new area that contains frames. For the moment, we have only one frame. Next, click here on the right and choose Make Frames from Layers. You can see that now we have six frames. When we click on each frame, we see that the cat is in a different running position. What we can do next is to set the speed of the animation. Click here and choose another speed if you want, but for the moment, zero seconds or no delay is enough and perfect for this kind of animation. Another thing that you can do is to set the playing time of the animation, which can be once, three times, or forever. You can also input a custom number. So let's choose forever. That means that the animation will be looping continuously and it will look very nice. So let's click on the play button and now you can see on the screen how the animated GIF will look like. Now let's save the animation. For that, go to File and choose Export, then click Save for Web. You can see a pop-up where you can select different file formats for the export. In the drop-down, change JPEG and choose GIF instead. Now we can simply click Save. You can click on this button to start the animation from frame 1. So click Save. Give it a name like Running Cat, for example, and your animation is ready to be used in social media, forums, chats, and other places, even in emails. Now I'm going to show you a similar example, but with a different kind of effect. Let's say this new animation will not have a background. It will have a transparent background, like a sticker or something like this, that you can put on any background, for example, on a website, in Discord chats, on WhatsApp, and so on. Like in the previous example, I have nine layers with the explosion in different stages and a background layer that contains a color overlay that you can change. From here, you can simply choose another color, another tone of blue. These are the animation layers. Like in the previous example, we have only one frame for the moment. Click here and choose Make Frames from Layers, and now you can see that we have 10 frames. The first one is without the explosion, and the other ones you can see that they do not have the background included. So what we need to do is select all of them. Click the first one, keep the Shift key pressed, and click the frame number 10 to select all of them. Then simply click on the eye icon next to the background layer, and now you can see that all of them have the blue background. Let's click on the play button to see the explosion animation, which looks really nice. If you want to hide the background and have a GIF with transparency, let's select all the 10 layers like we did previously and hide the background layer by simply clicking on the eye icon next to it. Now let's play again the explosion animation. You can also click on image, trim, and choose transparent pixels. This will have only the explosion, not the empty space around. Be careful not to cut the image because some of the frames are small and some are bigger. Go to the frame with the largest graphics. It's better to click again on the play button to see the result before saving it. Now go again to File, Export, Save for Web and choose GIF again. Click on Frame 1 to start and save. Let's give it the name Boom. So that is pretty much the result for this frame animation made in Photoshop. So now you know how to create a GIF in Photoshop. It's an easy method and you can use it for other kinds of images, not just animated sprites. For example, you can use it for photos to create a nice animated photo collage. Now, in this part of the tutorial, I am going to show you a free alternative GIF maker online that will help you create the same effect but without Photoshop. So, let's see how to make a GIF online with Mako Fun. First, you need to open Mako Fun and then simply click on the new button here on the menu to open a new file. I will choose to have a document of around 500 by 500 pixels. Now, we are going to add the images that we have, the sprites, in Mako Fun like we did in Photoshop. So, here I have all the six images of the cat running. Simply drag and drop the first image in Mako Fun, double-click to cover the entire area. And you can see that you can input the number of pages. For the moment, we have only one page. So let's choose six pages, one page for each layer. Click Save. Now you can see that we have six pages. Click on the second page and drag and drop the second cat on the screen, double-click to enlarge it, and click on the third page. Do the same, drag and drop the third cat, double click to enlarge, go to the fourth, drag it again, and repeat the same process until all the six images are inside Mako Fun like this. So now all the images are separated in different pages. Go here and choose Trim to Content. This is a similar option that we also have in Photoshop, so that we don't have empty spaces and things like that. 
To download and save the animation in GIF format, we have to go to the download menu on the left and from the drop down list, simply choose animated GIF. Click download, and now our GIF animation is ready to be used. Another nice thing is that you can also use animated GIFs in Mako Fun that are already made. Okay, so now let's make another document, 500 by 500, and let's go to elements, choose animated GIFs, and let's search for cat. You can see that we have so many options, so many animated cat GIFs. Let's choose one of the images, for example, this cute cat. Now search for a hello animated text effect. We need only a text, not a character or any other kind of visual. This one is perfect. It's a simple hello. Now it looks pretty nice. And to save the animated GIF like we did before, go to download, choose GIF from the drop down menu, and that is pretty much it. This is the animated cat, which looks pretty nice. So with Mako Fun, you can make animated GIFs quite easily and you can get really creative. I hope you have all enjoyed this tutorial. Now you know how to make a GIF in Photoshop and how to create an animated GIF online with Mako Fun. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button and subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. Got questions or ideas for future videos? Drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.